Moving from the Ashanti region straight to the western region, where a case against the National Democratic Congress's MP for Jomoro, Dorcas Afo, um, uh, Afo Tofi, follows the writ filed by Joshua Emuakofi, a resident of Jomoro at the Second D High Court, challenging the MP's eligibility as a legislator. The, he contends that the Jomoro MP held dual citizenship prior to the 2020 elections, contrary to Ghana's 1992 constitution. And uh, earlier in court today, information we got that indicate that the court has dismissed the motion and says that um, the MP in question has not violated the constitution. Meanwhile, the lawyer for the Jamaro MP, Edwin Eduji Tamaklo, has, has said that the ruling is welcoming. I, I, I need to thank God Almighty and the court for the rather, I mean, you know, brilliant judgment. The scholarship demonstrated in the judgment is pleasing. We are extremely grateful to the court. We are extremely grateful to the almighty God. I'm grateful to my colleague lawyers, the regional executives of our party, the national executives, and more importantly, let me say, H. E. John Dramani Mahama, he has been on this matter right from the beginning. The expenses and everything. I mean, I'm extremely grateful. The national chairman of the party is not left out. The general secretary. All of them have been part of making what has happened today great. And I appreciate what has happened today. I'm extremely grateful. The judgment speaks of itself. The judgment speaks of itself. We put in a lot of industry. We didn't want to leave any loophole anywhere. I mean, culminating in traveling right to Ivory Coast together with my client, the MP. And we are extremely grateful to God. And I thank you, the media men. In the course of this trial, some of your headlines were really discomforting, but I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. I mean, immigrant families, a lot of things happen. Persons who travel, a lot of things happen. But those were not the issues, as Riley. In fact, the justice, they were irrelevant. Red herring. That is what they were. I mean, basically, I mean, we lawyers, we know some of these things. But that's fine. We are extremely grateful to the court. That's it. I mean, like I told you, I had much earlier had gone to my learned senior to plead that should the case go in his favor, he shouldn't take us against me. So it was only moral that I could not ask for cause against him. Thank you. All right, so that's uh, Ed Digitama Club, who is the lawyer for the MP for Jomoro, who actually has been upheld. Um, her election has been upheld by the court to continue to represent the people of Jomoro. Let's speak to our Western Regional Correspondent, Eric Yawajay, who's joined us via Zoom, for an idea of what exactly has been going on in the court premises um, moments before and after the decision was upheld by the court. Um, good afternoon, Eric, and thank you for joining us. What's, what's the mood like, especially for her supporters? Uh, thank you very much, Matthew. You should have been in the courtroom to have seen the uproar of chairs after the presiding judge pronounced um, his judgment in favor of the member of parliament for um, Jomoro, uh, Dokas Apu Tofi. The fact that, irrespective of the fact that even when we were in courtroom, when the judge pronounced his judgment, there was a tumultuous uproar to the extent that the judge had to even come in. But uh, all in all, um, Obviously, those who are in support of the member of parliament are excited that after 23 months, there's been a finality to that case, the case that um, challenged the nationality, sought to challenge the nationality of the member of parliament for um, Jomoro, for Dr. Apotofi. Um, so, um, moments ago, the crowd just dispersed, but um, about uh, they were in their, their, they were in their tens of uh, um, hundreds. Uh, all jubilating that the truth has been set forth by the presiding judge. So for those who are in support of uh, Madame Tofi, they are obviously excited. Madam. Right. Uh, we'll come back to you for one last question before you take leave of us. But let's go and listen to exactly the words of the MP for Jamara when um, the case was ruled in her favor moments ago. <laughs> I was 
I'm just, uh, you know, out of words. I'm just very grateful to God. Um, no, it's been a long journey. I've gone through a lot, but finally, God has really, you know, um, done it for me, and I'm very grateful to God and everybody that has been very supportive, especially uh, Aduchi and also the lawyer from Ivory Coast, my uh, chairman, the regional chairman, everybody. I mean, they've been very supportive. Of course, my family, my daughter was here today. So I'm very, very grateful to God. God has been good to me. It has not been easy, but God is good. <laughs> All right, so those are the words of um, uh, Madam Dorcas Afotofe, who has been upheld by the court as a member of parliament for Jamara constituency. Let's wrap up with um, our correspondent in the Western region, Eric Yawaji. Eric, so the complainant, what did he say? What have uh, his lawyers been saying? So, um, uh, well, so b before I come to that, if you will, um, the, the presiding judge, uh, his reference for the determination of today's case rests solely on... Uh, a, a provision in the Ivorian National Code, that is um, Article 48, Items 4 and 5, that clearly spells out um, grounds on which a person can lose or renounce um, his or her um, Ivorian nationality. The fact that um, the moment you take on the nationality of another uh, nation, you automatically cease to be uh, a citizen of Ivory Coast. Mm. Again, if you look at um, item 5 of uh, Article 4, Article 48 of the Ivorian National Nationality Code, it also says that if you want to renounce your uh, nationality, you have to write to the Minister of Justice. And uh, the Minister of Justice has um, six months to respond. If in the space of the six months, you don't get any response from the attorney, the Minister of Justice, then it is presumed that automatically right. um, you've, you've lost your citizenship. And okay. if you look at uh, some of the uh, evidences uh, adduced forward by the first respondent, Dr. Afute, you realize that um, a letter dated 24 January 2019 was sent to that office where he requested for the renunciation of her citizenship. Okay. And um, as you, as if you look at um, item four of the Article 48, it clearly states that once you, you send that letter to that office and within six months you don't receive any response, it is presumed that you've lost your nationality. And Dockers, there was no evidence that Dockers received a response. So by okay. virtue of that, um, it is presumed that she has lost her nationality. Again, the moment that she came to Ghana and took on the Ghanaian nationality automatically right. she sees to be a, 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 a nationality, a, a citizen of citizen. every coast per Article 48 of the Ivorian Nationality Code. So this was what the court actually um, stood on to pass mm. the ruling. Uh, but right. but um, then the, uh, the counsel for the, uh, the petitioner, Frank Davis, says that the, the, the judge has spoken and for now they take it in its stride, but then they will study the transcript version of the ruling so that they will know the way forward. But for now, um, the judge has spoken and they don't have anything else to say. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Eric Yawaje, with that update from the Western region having to do with uh, the uh, court.